If you're a fan of tea-based scents, then you won't want to miss today's review on Katie's Bubbles Eau de Thé, coming up. Hello and welcome back everyone, John here, and today we'll be talking about a recent release from Katie's Bubbles called Eau de Thé. So a little background info on Katie's Bubbles before we move forward. Chris Cullen is the artisan behind Katie's Bubbles. Katie's Bubbles is named after his daughter. He's been a mainstay for years now in the wet shaving artisan space, and is known for his wide variety of scents and vegan soaps and creams. Now, Eau de Thé was originally created for the 2019 Carolina Meetup, which took place back in October. The starting point for the development of the scent actually started with a favorite beverage of one of the Meetup's organizers, a matcha green tea lemon drop. Although the starting point, um, by the end, Chris wound up with something very different and something wonderful. Now first, let's talk about the packaging. I really like these low profile jars uh, with a wide mouth as it makes for loading in the tub very easy. You'll see that this style jar is a go-to for both artisans new and old. Also, in the aftershave bottles, I really dig these squared off bottles. Uh, it looks very different, especially if you have multiple shaving products. It really stands out on your shelf and with some solid labels, you have a really professional looking package. Now it's been a while since I last picked up a new Katie's Bubble set, so I'm not sure how long these changes have been in place, but in comparison with some of my older sets, I really like the move to both the soap jars and the aftershave bottles. Moving on to the scent notes, Eau de Thé is made up of bergamot, ginger, green tea, black tea, orris root, aquatic notes, grassy notes, ozone notes, musk, wood, and incense. Next, I'm gonna take a sniff off the tub. So I would say this is about a 3, 3.5 uh, as far as scent strength. And what my nose immediately gets um, are white florals and green tea. The picture that comes to mind when I smell this scent is of an idyllic picnic alongside the river on a warm spring day with flowers blooming and you can just smell the aroma in the air. It's a really calming and joyful scent that I enjoy and my wife and kids really dig the scent as well. Now for occasions, I would say this scent is definitely for the spring and summer. This would be really good for casual use, daytime use, indoor or outdoor. It's not super daring or offensive, and if anything, I think it would bring a smile to a passerby's face. Now for scents similar to Eau de Thé, I would say that anything based on Creed Silver Mountain Water will fit the bill. Another artist in shaving soap known for that scent is Sterling's Mountain Man. So if you own that one or have smelled it before, it's kind of in a similar vein, although the white florals definitely set apart Eau de Thé. Lastly, let's talk about the soap performance. So Katie's Bubble Soap Base is among my top 10 overall soap bases and is in my top three vegan soap bases. I think across all major metrics, you know, ease of lather, um, the cushion, post-shave feel and whatnot, it rates very highly across the board. And I have to say that the soap coupled with the aftershave left my face feeling very, very soft. My face just felt hydrated and I didn't have to worry about dryness. So in wrapping things up, I have nothing but good things to say about Eau de Thé and nothing but good things to say about Katie's Bubbles. If this is one that you've missed or just haven't tried yet, I highly recommend looking at their um, vast variety of scents and picking one up that seems interesting to you. If Eau de Thé sounds like something that you would like, I would encourage you to pick that up sooner than later because I'm pretty sure that once this current stock sells through, that'll be it for the scent. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about tea-based scents. Is that something that you go after? I know there's plenty of coffee scents in the shaving world, but these tea scents are hard to find. I think it's harder to pull off. So if that's something that you like, let me know what other tea scents that you've tried and liked. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out on the next video. You can also get more content and get in touch with me directly on Instagram at Latherhog. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.